Yo guys, what's up? It's Origani. Today, I'm showing you how to make custom player models for Boneworks. So, first thing you're going to want to do is find a player model. My recommended sites are either Pack3D Models or Sketchfab. Pack3D Models has plenty of rips from games such as Call of Duty, Resident Evil 8, uh, Red Dead Redemption 2, plenty of games. Second thing you're going to want to do is get a rigged model. Pack 3D Models has some rigged models, but most of them aren't, so you're going to want to use Mixamo to rig them. Mixamo is pretty simple. All you have to do is upload your character and align the points. After that, it will give you a fully rigged 3D model of your character. To download your model, click the download option, and then click download. Last of all, you will need the Ford Rig for Blender and the Custom Player Models Unity Package. Both download links and the link to the helpful guide that Marinara made on how to make player models will be linked in the description of the video. To start rigging your model, open up your Ford Unity Rig. This will come with a belt and some backpack straps. If you will not be needing these, you can delete them including the hair. Now input your file. If you need to, scale up your model. Align it the best you can. Now hide Ford's rig and select your new character's rig. Go to post mode. If you need to, enable in front in the viewport display option. Now change this from 3D cursor to bounding box and start aligning your character. Now for the hard part, aligning the hands. Now align the fingers. Now that you've rigged your model, go to object mode. Select your character's mesh, go to the modifiers tab, and click apply. Now click on object data properties, Click the small arrow next to vertex groups and click delete all groups. This deletes all of the weight paints on your character. Now you can select your armature, press tab, press A on your keyboard, and press X to delete all of the bones. If your player model's body, head, or hands aren't already separated, you can separate them by pressing tab to go into edit mode. Usually you can select one face on your character's hand and press control L, but in this case, the model is not separated. I will have to separate it by manually selecting all of the faces. Now that you have all of your faces selected, Press P and select Selection. This will separate your model's hand into a separate mesh. Now that everything's separated, you can transfer the weights. Unhide Ford's rig by pressing Alt H. Pressing 1 on your keyboard to go into vertex select mode, go up here or press O to turn on proportional editing. Now press G on your keyboard, now adjust the radius with your scroll wheel. Move your mesh until it aligns with Ford's. Now select Ford's head and shift click and select your player model's head. 
On the top left corner of the screen, select Object Mode, and now select Weight Paint. To transfer weights, click Weights, Transfer Weights, and change Source Layer Selection to By Name. Do so for all of the other limbs. Once you've transferred all your weights, select Ford's Head. Press Tab to go into Edit Mode. Press A on your keyboard to select all the faces. Now press X and select Vertices. Now click the drop down arrow next to Main and now click Control J. This will combine your mesh with Ford's existing mesh. Do so for all of the other meshes. Now that that's done, click on your original armature and press X to delete it. To export your model, go to File, Export, and FBX. Name it whatever you want. Now scroll down to Armature and disable Add Leaf Bones and click Export. Once you've exported your model, open up your custom player models SDK in Unity. Drag in your player models exported FBX file into Unity. Now left click your model, go to materials, and set location as use external materials. Now that your materials are here, drag your rig into Unity. Right click your rig, unpack prefab completely. Now change your scale to 0.01. Now go to the avatar folder and drag Brett Neutral onto the avatar animator section of your rig. Now open up your rig and drag Geo Group out of Brett Neutral. Now delete Brett Neutral. Select all of your meshes and drag them into Geo Group. With all the meshes selected, Go to the Inspector group. Check Update when off screen and uncheck Dynamic Occluded. Now create an empty and name it this. Drag main onto that empty that you just created. Now drag geo group and the empty you just created into your tutorial rig. For materials, you can set your shader as whatever you want. I prefer to use Val VR standard. If you use Val VR standard, make sure to turn Fresnel down to zero. Now that your materials are set, go to the player models folder. Drag in your player model. Now on the top of the screen, click player models and export selected skin. Save this wherever you want. This will produce manifest files and a dot body file. This is the only thing that you have to worry about. Copy this file into your Bonex folder. Well that does it all for today's tutorial. Hope you guys learned something new and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.